Well, uh, let's uh, turn to Ivory Coast now because uh, President Alassane Ouattara has appointed new heads for the army, the police and the gendarme following a two-day army mutiny that paralyzed the country on Friday. Disgruntled soldiers mutinied in the uh, central city of Bouaké before troops in the barracks in other cities joined the uprising. Well, President Watara has also nominated the former Prime Minister Daniel Kablan Duncan to occupy the newly created post of Vice President. And finally, former rebel leader Gilliam Soro was re-elected Parliament Speaker. Well, let's now bring in uh, Kasima Kamara. She's a senior program officer with the National Endowment for Democracy. There's a private non-profit organization based in uh, Washington. Thanks for taking time to talk to us uh, on the program. Uh, are you surprised by the dismissal of the uh, security heads, even after the soldiers' demands were heeded to? So what happened is that when the um, army revolted against, against the, the, the central government and the institutions of the country, they actually demanded the dismissal of the head of the police and the head of, of the army and the head of the gendarmerie. So this wasn't a surprise and this is a result of the demands by the mutineers but over how, the weekend. Uh, then how huge are the divisions within the army itself now? So I think uh, the, the uh, one way to look at it is that since the, the, the end of the civil war in 2011, uh, there is definitely a division uh, along ethnic lines and regional uh, uh, considerations uh, in the army. So after the civil war, or even during the civil war, you, you saw a division between the northern part of the country, which is mostly uh, Muslim, and the southern part of the country, which is mostly uh, Christian. So within the army, uh, this division of the country uh, has um, uh, also manifested itself uh, within the army. Well, there's been some uh, more news on uh, the new uh, vice president's position. The opposition is criticizing this uh, post saying, and I, I quote here, they see it as a way for Mr. Watara to control who succeeds him. Does, 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 does this wash at all? Actually, so when the constitutional review process uh, was uh, done last year or end of last year, uh, definitely the position of, of the uh, vice president was new and uh, it allowed President Alassane Ouattara to pick uh, the vice president. On top of that, he's also able to pick two-thirds of a Senate, which is a new institution that is being set up uh, in the country. So definitely... Uh, his power increased with the, the new constitution, and I understand why the opposition could uh, see this as uh, Alassane Ouattara picking his successor. All right, uh, Kasima Kamara, thank you for taking time to talk to us on Focus on Africa. Thank you. Thank you.